Hey, what's going on guys? Josh Refusion here, and today we're going to be talking about the new dawn of Halo. Apparently Halo is moving to a whole new studio. There's big changes for Halo. So, as a longtime Halo fan myself, my favorite Halo is actually Halo Reach. Let me know what your guys' favorite Halo is in the comments down below. I'm definitely excited to see what direction the game is going to go in. I know that Halo 5 was definitely a flop, and then Halo Infinite was off to a really good start. I was actually really into Halo Infinite for a while, but then it dipped off. Checking out this community update they put out. Prior to the conclusion of the 2024 Halo World Championship, we offered a glimpse into the future of Halo. Being built with Unreal Engine 5, so this is actually being built with the same engine that Fortnite's built on. If you really break Halo down, there have been two very distinct chapters. Chapter 1 was Bungie, which we all know Bungie. Halo Reach was made by Bungie. Let's go. Chapter 2 was 343 Industries. Now, I think we have an audience which is hungry for more. So we're not just going to try to improve the efficiency of development, but change the recipe of how we make Halo games. So guys, why don't we go check out the YouTube video that they put out for this. It's like a six minute video and it's talking about the new chapter of Halo. So let's go check out that video. And if you guys want to help make future React videos, I actually have a new channel in the Discord server. It's called React 2 and here you guys can post videos that I can react to on stream. The Discord link will be down below. You can see we already have a little mini roster videos here on the right. And you guys will be able to catch me live here on the Fusion Here YouTube channel as well on the Fusion Here Twitch channel. I'll have all those links down below for you guys. Let's hop into the video. Of course, all those links will be down below. Chris Matthews, take one, Mark. This is Casey Wu, take one, Mark. I was told that I can just be my authentic self, Chris. In six years, I thought I'd be. Should be. <laughs> There's so much to do and so much fun to be had when you play Halo that I feel like I never run out of things to do. I love intricate stories that take place across lots of different worlds, have lots of different meaningful characters. What made Halo okay. successful at the beginning? What is the legacy of Halo and what's the soul that we want to bring forward? And what's the craft of making Halo games? Bungie. How do we set our studio up best? to go deliver on that. We Bring back Bungie. Change in order to take us into the future. When I first heard about Halo moving on Real Engine, my first thought was, this is gonna be a really hard secret to keep. I think fans are going to be excited about the future of Halo because of the possibilities that are- Hell yeah. By using Unreal. Before, we really had to split our focus and think- Why does this matter? Yeah, well, obviously, Unreal Engine is incredibly smooth. I mean, we've seen what Fortnite can do with it. So, I mean, obviously, Fortnite, Fortnite's incredibly smooth, looks great. Black Myth Wukong was just made using Unreal Engine. The new Ark game, Ark 2, is made using Unreal Engine. So, there's definitely a future for Unreal Engine. I think everybody's moving to make their games on there. Thinking about building an engine, supporting it, being really kind of a tech company and a studio at the same time. Since we've made the chains to shift to UE, yeah. we can bring Halo forward in ways that people have never seen before while still being true. Like how? Is. Let's see it. The Foundry project was an I want to see. Show ourselves how far we can push things using Unreal 5. New studio art director, Chris, came to me and said, hey, I have this crazy idea. He said, hey, there's this thing called Project Foundry that I want to do. <laughs> Imagine this whole thing, it just comes down to that there's like a new Fortnite mode and it's like a collaboration with Fortnite. It's just, guys, we've been working all this time and it's just like a Fortnite creative map. You go in there on Fortnite and it's like all Halo themed. Like what a letdown, man. Let's make it happen. Foundry specifically, is based around the same concept of the foundry in Halo lore. It's the place where Halo rings are born. Excuse me? It's the, is based around... Let's make it happen. Foundry specifically is based <laughs> around the same concept of the foundry in Halo lore. It's the place where Halo rings are born. Is that like a Lord of the Rings reference? I'm so lost. I'm going to be honest. Okay. It's not a game. It's a research project for our studio so we can prepare ourselves for the next steps of making Halo games. Yeah. Work in progress content rendered in Unreal Engine 5. So this is like what we could expect the next Halo game to look like. Honestly, 
the original. I'm Halo liking thing. that map. I'm getting some Halo Reach vibes from this map. I remember there was a Halo Reach map that was exactly like this, where you were surrounded by mountains. It was just a big open map. Halo Reach was such a good game, though, man. This doesn't even look like a map, though. Oh, I'm getting excited, man. Some new Halo. The original Halo franchise was a graphic showcase. Um, it was best in class. That's what Halo was when it first was released, and that's what Halo needs to be again. Halo does look beautiful, man. A new dawn. So Project Foundry had been approved. We took the entire creative team and we ideated on three locations, something old, something new, and something really alien. We had the Pacific Northwest, which is sort of traditional Halo biome. We were yeah. trying to shove as much foliage in there as humanly possible to make it really feel like you're on a hike in the, you know, Cascades. The Cold Lands, which was the second biome that we took on, it was more of a technical show. Okay. So I think those three different pictures we just saw weren't maps, but they're more so the biomes that they're trying to make these new maps be like, or like showing what they can do with Unreal Engine and how the maps might look in these biomes. Showcase where we could play with shaders, we could play with deformable landscapes and terrains. Unreal affords us more opportunity than we've ever had in the past. You know, Those reflections look Unreal sick. Unreal affords us more opportunity than we've ever had. I haven't in the seen past. reflections you know, like that in a Halo it might game. Just look all like snow, but how many layers of things combine to really give that winter look? Ooh, the vehicles, the man. The Blightlands, which is any land that's been completely taken over by the flood. I wanted to give this is the sick. opportunity to really this is new. express an alien world, a really alien world. We haven't got something like this. They may have actually done in previous Halo games. Exactly. What's impressed me about watching the Halo team work in Unreal. In you know what's funny is this actually, it's looking a lot like Dos Gross from MW3. I know you guys are like, come on, Fusion, we're not talking about Call of Duty, but I mean, come on, like, it's almost like they saw this new COD map and they're like, all right, guys, I mean, we're supposed to be the game about aliens. Let's amp up our maps a little bit more. Yes, Crap actually looks game. disgusting. Get out! What me about watching the Halo team work in Unreal is how beautiful everything looks, how incredible the environments look. Hell yeah. I don't think we've seen anything quite like it in Unreal Engine before. Fortunately, we have a studio that's really passionate about Halo, about the look and the feel, and you know, I think there's a lot of hunger this to really guy? collaborate, to move forward together. Foundry was an initiative that touched on every part of the creative process, everything from concept art, VFX, characters, vehicles, and weapons. That's like some Halo coding right there. Pretty cool. VFX characters, vehicles, and weapons to make the future games of Halo. Creating an asset, taking this design, now we can really dig into material oh. definitions. What is it actually made of? How is it physically accurate um, to the world? Now we get to take all the, the wonderful legacy assets that we have, bring them to life, and bring them to uh, today's standards. Okay, so they're just porting everything over to Unreal Engine. I'm really excited to be not just working on multiple projects, but also expanding. Multiple. As a lifelong Halo player, I think the game's only going to get better when we get those new unique. We're getting multiple new Halo people games. Bringing their expertise and uh, passion for the Halo franchise. We are looking for new talent as the projects that we're working on kind of get further and further into their development cycles. And it is great to be part of a team that's growing because you can kind of see that that force multiplied as people come in yeah. and take on challenges and you can do more. Imagine a place where you have the commitment that this is what we want to do, Halo games, and create those experiences. And you can express your talent, your creativity, and your professional ambitions in that place we're looking for designers that's we're the studio for head guy for engineers it feels like a new beginning for the studio in a lot of ways and i think that's pretty rare and i think we arrive now at a point where you see the beginnings of people to start to believe in the process there's so much momentum okay. that we have right now and focus and clarity on not just what we're building but why we're building and kind of the i don't think we're seeing any uh new halo gameplay it's just like concept stuff. They're just showing 
what they can do in Unreal Engine, I think. This next phase of Halo, the worlds that we're building, the stories that we're going after. The potential at Halo right now is huge. That is beautiful, man. From being captured from a camera, and you're, it's capturing someone's monitor with a camera, and it looks this clear, that has to be like 8K. Like, this is insane. Huge. Halo Infinite. That's was crazy. The remnants of how we made Halo games in the past. That was our recipe. And what we are doing right now, we're changing the recipe. Master Chief! Yo! My boy. A new dawn. Is that it? Halo Studios. So this is what you're going to see when you launch up the game now. Not no Bungie, not no 343 Studios. Halo Studios. How do you guys feel about this? Are you guys excited for this new dawn of Halo? I mean, it's going to be moved to Unreal Engine now. Same engine that Fortnite's built on. Like I said, Black Myth Wukong just came out. That's a major success. That was built on Unreal Engine. The new Ark game is going to be built on Unreal Engine. A lot of games are investing a lot into Unreal Engine. I guess it's a pretty good game studio. I know it's free to use, so that might be why they're all using it. I'm pretty sure anybody can develop a game using Unreal Engine for free. But yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts. Have you guys played Halo games in the past? If so, what's your favorite Halo game? I'm excited. They said there's multiple new Halo games in development. And yeah, I'll make sure to cover more stuff if anything new for Halo comes out. Drop a like on the video and subscribe for more React videos. This has been Josh Refusion here, and I'll see you guys in the next one.